I apologize for the lighting in this video. On and off, right and dimming. <laughs> tuning in for another video once again i really appreciate your support i appreciate you guys continuously watching these videos it gives me another reason to go on besides me wanting to grow this channel thank you to the new subscribers thank you for joining the zebra family i hope you have been enjoying the content that has been coming out thus far in 2023 and I'm excited for what the rest of the year holds. So today's video is all about items I'm loving at the moment in my closet. I love all my clothes, every item that I've ever bought or every item that I wear. But at the moment I have about 8 or 9 items that I wear a lot. I just enjoy wearing them and I was really excited to purchase or create them. You will notice that most of these items are actually accessory based items and I'm very big on accessories. I believe that accessories can really make or break an outfit and they can really elevate it into something extraordinary so it is quite normal for me to just have the eight to nine items that i'm loving right now be mainly accessories so we are going to start from the bottom up and from the bottom we're starting with shoes i am a sneakerhead i believe i am i know i am i'm a sneakerhead at heart but i cannot fully afford to be that right now but whenever I just want to switch up my outfits, I wear a lot of flat shoes and normally that is sneakers. I have been seeing the style of like the kind of sportsy sneakers that have some sort of structure. The ones that look like new balance shoes. I really am loving those shoes at the moment. Simply because I am slightly moving from my dad shoe slash Balenciaga chunky sneaker vibe moment and I really want something that will help me to elevate my outfits but also a shoe that I can wear with a lot of different outfits and it always works. I bought this Pumas and I knew that I had to have them. First of all I love the colors, I love the neon orange, I love the grey, I love the black, I love the white. It just works together. I actually love this shoe so much that I bought another one in, in a different color though. This one's blue, black and white primarily with a little bit of grey tones. Um, simply because I feel like with the neon one you can wear it with anything but it can only take you as far because of the bright colors but with the blue one with the white and the gray and the black I believe that when those need to be more versatile in the types of outfits I'm wearing or the colors that I'm choosing to wear the second item would be sandals I used to wear a lot of sandals when I was younger because I wore a lot more dresses when I was young over time that really died down I started not wearing sandals as much it's not that I didn't like sandals I guess I didn't find the ones that really suit me and the ones that I really like and I ended up finding these manzini I bought them in a boutique when I saw them I knew that I couldn't leave them because it's the type of sandal that I've been seeing people wear from like Doc Martens and stuff or Woolies and those type of shoes are like can be quite pricey and expensive and finding this as an alternative that is quite cheap and still so beautiful with so much detail still has that chunky base and simple straps simple designs and I like the shape at the front that it has some sort of kind of U band. It is also wide so you can wear it with like a variety of outfits, a variety of dresses as well. It's just so perfect and that is all I've ever wanted in a sandal. Then moving to bottoms are these jeans. Well jean or should I say denim shorts. Um this used to be high waisted mom jeans that I brought from legit but you know with jeans from Mr. Price and legit over time it stretches out over time it kind of loses shape first it was high waist then it became mid waist then it became low rise like the pants were just increasing in size dropping dropping and dropping and so i thought that mm, i don't really like wearing those jeans anymore however these have always like i i loved these jeans when i bought them because of the fit and i just couldn't let them go 
So I thought maybe I could change them in a way that I know would be super awesome to me and would be something or a kind of style of, of jeans that I've always wanted. And recently on Instagram I've been seeing some of the influencers that I really look up to in terms of style and content on Instagram wear denim shorts that are kind of slightly baggy, low rise and below the knee or like way below the knee and I really really wanted those but I didn't know where to get them. So I just decided that I'm gonna take a leap, take a risk and cut these jeans. So I cut them. But the ribs on the jeans, funnily, like I never made those. The jeans were ripped as much as you can see. However, with fluctuating weight and movement, like one of the sides, I think primarily the left side, like ripped to the extremes that you see now. However, these are just so beautiful. I've worn them once in public and it just, the outfit is just so, so perfect. Moving up to the top is this green cardigan right here. Um, this used to belong to my dad. So I can basically say it's vintage. It is vintage because I'm sure it's like as old as me, if not older. I just, I love the color. I'm trying to incorporate a lot of color into my closet this year. And I really love the green. It's not necessarily bright on camera, but in real, real life, it kind of, it's kind of dull. But then the green is just bright enough to really pop out in an outfit. It's kind of big and baggy. Of course, I do love the square shape sort of that it has. It's, it's a bit on the bigger side of baggy, but that's okay. However, when I wear it, I often put a lot of pins to give it kind of the shape that I want it to be able to cinch it in more. I really love the detail, the buttons. I love the, the word here, botany bay, is it? I'm not sure. But it's really cute, it's really colorful, and it really does give some sort of pop to what was a dull outfit. And then moving on to bag, ever since I started university, I've become a fan of tote bags. I had been seeing them on interest, but I didn't have as much of a drive to get a tote bag as I did when I started started attending university. Um, they are practical and when you get one that is big enough but still so cute, that is so so practical and so beautiful. And I found this gem in this surprise, it's white, it's big enough, it's cute. I love the print, I love the design, I love the layout and it's just so beautiful and I couldn't leave it. The second accessory is this checkered blue and white bag. I actually bought this about two to three years ago. I had worn the bag, but what was annoying is that when I tried to zip the bag, it kind of gets stuck and that just made me not like the bag as much and put it away. And also I wasn't exploring my style enough to be able to kind of have an outfit that I can wear with those colors. Like I, I'd always think that I need to wear either white or blue for the outfit to work. But recently I've just been trying to wear it more simply because I'm, I've started to use the sling one. I was very obsessed with shoulder bags in the past and any other shape would, just didn't make sense to me. So having it being both a shoulder bag and also change into a body bag, that is very practical for me and kind of makes it a versatile find. Then moving on to the neck, I've always liked the pearl candy, like colorful vibe of necklaces that like you normally expect like children to wear for summer 2022. A lot of people were wearing that and I kind of did want that. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the one that would work for me. I wanted the one with the pearls, like the pearls exactly, but that's fine. So I created this one using a chain, a choker necklace that has rusted and it's like really brown and I can't really wear it, but I didn't really want to throw it away. So I decided to use beads that I used in the past for my hair or braiding. These beads used to be like silver and then underneath for some reason the coating moved over time and it became the colors that you see now. I really like it. First I was quite nervous to wear it because of how like, chunky it is sort of but it is I, I really just embraced it. Wearing it really also elevates an outfit. My favorite accessory of all time and I think this will never change is rings. I really love rings. I 
most of the time when I'm wearing something, I'm wearing a ring. Like if it's really an outfit that I put a lot of effort into and I'm, I was really just trying to add some spice or level it up, I put on a ring. So these rings basically, the two that look a bit shiny, the lilac pink one as well as the lilac pink one as well as the clear one, I bought them from the fix so I like the set with another green ring that doesn't appear here and i just wanted fun fun rings since i'm a fan of rings i really didn't want my range of rings to only range from like gold to silver i just wanted something that's more brighter more fun that can really kind of bring a different vibe altogether to my outfits and i found these and i was very happy with these and i'm very happy with them still and along with these i found this round gold shaped one it's very simple. Unfortunately, I waited too late to coat it with clear nail polish because it started becoming a little bit bronze instead of its original gold and it is from Mr. Price, if I'm not mistaken. This ring is like a bit, it's like a huge stone. It's not necessarily a stone, it's plastic. It's peach, sort of. And I really like it because it has brought a lot like a, a difference in my ring collection. And last but not least is my favorite ring at this moment. I don't think it being the favorite will change for a while unless I find a really really cool ring. It is round, it has gold and silver detailing and it's just absolutely beautiful. It's like a three set sort of vibe and I, I think I love it because it's something, it's a ring that I had been looking for for the longest time I could remember and I used to see this type of rings a lot. I still see them being worn by my grandma from Mozambique and whenever she'd wear them I just, I really admire them. Like it looks so clean like when a black woman has gold jewelry like minimal gold or silver jewelry on them it just it looks so so pretty so i'm really glad to have found this i found this at some beauty store if i can say in manzini and i was just so happy to find this thank you so much for tuning into this video thank you for just listening to me express all my favorite items in my closet right now i hope you guys really enjoyed this video please make sure to like comment and subscribe if you haven't please share this video as much as you can so that this channel can continue growing thank you always for your support and thank you for just always being here and for always watching my content until next time